For the whole year, I've been working on the main trail, filling in the areas that we found all those great artifacts, the gold emerald ring and the rosary gold bar, the bronze seal, which is all up in here. And I pretty much finished working, covering the areas that I wanted to cover. So with that done, I moved back over to the Carpenter's Trail, which I haven't worked on the Carpenter's Trail for over two years. Got hung up up here finding all those beautiful artifacts. It was time to go back to the Carpenter's Trail, which I ended right here. I was extending it by doing 500 foot jumps, finding material and filling in the areas. So two trips ago, we found a couple spikes and some pottery shards. And then I made a 150 foot jump to the north and we recovered a couple more spikes and a couple pottery shards. I did another 150 foot jump and started right here, didn't find anything. Then we got an EO, some pottery in the next holes. Before I knew it, we had seven holes in a row all connected that we found an artifact of a an EO, which could be a carpenter's tool from this area, or some iron spikes with washers. A lot of spikes that are brand new that were uh, from the carpenter's boxes or chest of uh, spikes that he had. And then about eight holes later, we got a few musket balls, 20 to be exact, five from one hole and 15 for another. Then the next day, the first hole, we got two pottery shards and two square spikes. Moved the boat a few feet, dug another hole, and Tim went down in that hole and came up about 10 minutes later and said he's only moved 10 feet in the time he's been underwater, that everywhere he's putting his detector, it's ringing, and everywhere he can look while he's kneeling down, he sees musket balls, pottery, and EOs, and that he already had a small pile of encrusted objects. And I wanted them to get the full experience of swimming around and seeing artifacts laying everywhere in a hole. And take our time doing it, do it the proper way, which we did. We went down and filmed, then we detected other areas, and I kept filming, telling them to go ahead and start using your detector and um, uncovering artifacts. As we're sitting there getting our gear on, Tim, I don't know if you know Tim, but he's a pretty excitable person. And uh, he keeps going on and on and about how excited he was. You can, you can see it. And Jason's getting a little excited too. And Tim shouts over to me. He says, how can I be so calm? And I said, well, I might not show it like you show it, but inside I, I'm very excited, very happy about what we're about to experience. But more for me was where we were at on this chart and what we were finding down there. That means more to me. I want my crew to all have these fantastic experiences of finding history underwater. What, the reason we keep the boat in good shape to go out there is all for bottom time so we can get down there and search and find. And now here it was in front of them, the next couple hours was gonna be fun and exciting. And that's what we did. We spent two hours in that hole and we're not done yet. I'm looking forward to it. I feel there's more of the same that we just recovered because all those artifacts was coming from the east side of this hole and that's where the detectors were ringing it was on the east side the direction that i was moving the boat into so the, the next couple digs should be interesting way back when i first started working here i heard mel say lead leads to gold and the reason is the weight of those items are very similar and they stick together but it seemed like whenever we were finding lead musket balls, we started finding gold artifacts. Uh, we have a large area to work here. There's 300 feet of a gap to fill in by about 150 wide. So this whole area has to get dug up. And then I, I'm also gonna make more jumps to the north. So it just shows that the trail still goes on in a nice way.
with what we're finding. And one of the things that excites me, well, I shouldn't say one of the things, the artifact that excites me more than everything else of the lead musket balls, the carpenter's tools, the spikes, is a couple of spikes that were found had wood attached to them, meaning timbers. Timbers means a part of the ship came through this area. That means more to me than a few hundred musket balls. It'd be a very good time for anybody who's thinking about coming and visiting us and coming diving on the Atocha site to experience something like this and possibly have that same experience that my crew is going through right now.